Hello, Tara here. I wanted to dive into the, what is this? The Summer Loving Kit, uh, sorry, Summer Loving Kit from Ristira, the new one that um, I just did the page kit building video for. And I thought I'd start with the ones that have the, um, oh shoot, what are they called? <laughs> Cut files, the, the cut files that came with the kit this month. So um, this one was the one um, from uh, our niece and her family at the beach. They do a photo every year, so it's kind of fun. Um, what I should do is a layout of all the photos like through the years. Um, that would be kind of fun because this is probably the fourth one of them. So yeah, that's actually, I should uh, go back and do that. Anyway, <laughs> um, I did some prep work because I wanted to do some mixed media and I wanted to just kind of get going at it. So, um, took my orange paper, why don't I do this? Okay, so the background paper is the orange piece and then, um, I put down a triangle of the uh, the seagull paper and a triangle of the the um, what is it now Potter's clay cardstock that came in the kit. Um, and I, sorry, I'm really discombobulated. I don't know. I sat down for a minute, and now I'm I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so. The sketch uh, for July, the sketch challenge, um, and if you want to participate, you just need to be a member of the Mercy Tierra Facebook group, and um, there's an album or a post there that you can um, upload your entry. Uh, she does it every month pretty well. Um, I think one month it was more of a recipe challenge than a sketch challenge, but um, I don't think she's missed a month for challenges anyway. These little corners are just not down the way. Sometimes you like things sticking up and sometimes you don't. Okay, so before I attached this down, I went and I wanted to add some splatters and my plan is to also add some more, some of the confetti that came in the kit. But this is um, the Prima metallic accents uh, watercolors that came in one of the um, mixed media add-ons from a few months back, but it's, I mean, the colors obviously have worked really well with all of the kits since. So I went in first with this, this white color. Yeah, they're dry. <laughs> uh, the white, and then I used this yellowy gold. Then I went in with the darker gold and it was like, Oh shoot, I washed it and set it in the other room. It's a fan brush that came with it in the kit. And then I went in with this pretty teal color and did some bigger splotches. Like I started out um, with the lighter colors, more of a sprinkling. And then as they got deeper, I did bigger splotches. So the blue obviously has the bigger one. And I mean, most of it's going to get covered up, but I thought it just tied everything together then. Um, okay, so attach those. Then I realized I wanted a piece of this orange to map my photo with. So I had to take this off, kind of figure out where I could steal it from, glue her all back down again. Um, I took a piece of the uh, 6x8 paper from the 6x8 paper pad that was in the uh, Small But Mighty kit this month and backed then for a second mat. So this is going to go here somewhere if we're following the sketch. Um, I also wanted to use this. Oops, geez. didn't realize that was hanging out. Sorry guys for that. <laughs> um, wanted to use this in some way. So this was the half of a, of a chipboard frame. So I either want to put it kind of up this way 
and I don't mind that stuff stick like you can see what's behind it necessarily but that might get covered up with some other stuff so I don't know if I want it up or whether I want to put this up and put this down probably down hey yeah but then that's getting covered up oh well sacrifices you make for the <laughs> okay so we've got that then as I said I wanted to start with the ones I did use the cut files from so this fun sun is part of uh, the digital cut files that were included in the kit so I cut everything out in the white to begin with and my plan was I was going to ink the white in yellow and then I got thinking I want to fill the beams with the yellow so I took one of the uh, color vibes from the small but mighty kit and I just did so you go back into the file in the silhouette and you take out these little inside pieces of the rays but I left this inside circle piece so that the yellow if you see there it's just this piece and then you had this yellow piece left over which then I was able to use to trace a piece of white and the piece of trans uh, transparency or the clear to go in there and with very little fuss um, come up with the correct you just trace it but uh, you know couple say a quarter of an inch bigger and then you can trim it down if you need to it doesn't have to be exact and then I used the confetti mix from this month got it together decided it wasn't full enough <laughs> tore it open made a mess added it in <laughs> so anyway I this I tell you what this one I had to tear this off I had this wrong I had to tear this off so it's been a whole lot of pulling things apart so now my plan was to use that in place of this star but if this is here I don't know should we try and squinch it in anyway maybe like so or it could even come down a little bit more I don't want to cover up too much of the picture, but it's kind of nice to have it overlap a little bit. Like that. And then I'm going to add some of these confetti down here. And I want to use some of these little bits. So Summer Tracker. I don't know. Maybe this one goes up here. that that I had one more I do like that or over more like this so then you still see the overlap maybe like that and then we can fill in with some florals along the bottom. Uh, I think this is meant to go. Hmm. Let's use the biggest one at the bottom here. And then I also have these little bits too to fill in with. But really, it's done, right? Like, you don't want to overdo it because I've already got a, quite a bit going on. I might tuck you know, something like that there. Maybe something like that. And I still do not have a title. Unless we're just going to call it Beach Vibes. And maybe that'll be it. Oh, that'd be pretty. Just kind of on layered over top of that, eh? Okay. So actually, I'm going to slip away, glue this stuff down, and I'll be back. And I'm done. <laughs> so, um, what did I do? So basically everything I just said I was going to do, I ended up having to add in a couple of, um, of the tag bottoms 
just to fill in that hole. I wish I'd been planning ahead and I would have taken my orange mat right out of here and then this wouldn't have been an issue, but um, that's what happens sometimes and you just have to figure out a way around it. So built up like kind of a little cluster of, of the tags. I added in some of the uh, printable tags, um, a couple of the stickers. Uh, let's see. Got just little, little fun things here, there, and everywhere. I decided to add in that the corduroy heart that was in the kit and uh, bunches of confetti. And my um, shaker pocket is full enough that it is not, it's not looking bare like, <laughs> like my last uh, mess up on one of my layouts, but uh, lots of dimension on this one. And uh, I think it's a super fun color palette. Uh, just kind of stuck with just the more muted tones in the kit. And I think I came up pretty close to the sketch. And this is my first layout of July. Usually I tackle the sketch right at the last minute. So look at me go, very happy. Anyway, that's it for this one. And um, if you have any questions about any of the techniques, nothing, I mean, there's nothing really too complicated aside from the little shaker which took a little bit of time but uh, yeah love how it turned out hope everybody's having a great day i appreciate you stopping by and we will talk to you again soon thanks bye